Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are going to talk about how much I have made on YouTube with 1 million views. So I did just hit the 1 million view benchmark, mile mark, marker, miss. I thought it would be fun to share how much I've made on YouTube because of those 1 million views. So a lot of times people want to talk about like how much I made on YouTube in one month, how much I made with this many subscribers. And I've done videos like that. But I thought it would be nice to go ahead and look at the numbers because we're going to pull out all of the specifics behind the scenes on my channel and see exactly how much I've made per million views. And I have also made more money than just off of YouTube because of YouTube. So we're going to talk about that too. If you guys are returning to the channel and you're part of the budget fam, thank you so much for returning. I love you guys. I appreciate you. If you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe. If you missed my community post yesterday, I'm doing something I'm calling one every, what am I calling it? Every day until 100K. I have put it out there. I would love to get 100,000 subscribers. So I'm doing a video every single weekday until I hit that 100,000 subscriber mark. On this channel, we do a ton of budgeting, which you're about to see sort of the basics of my videos when we look at the computer screen, but I do a ton of budgeting, cash budgeting. We talk a little bit about how much and how I make money on Etsy and YouTube. That's my full-time income. I'm a single mom and I fully support all of us on that income alone. We are also going to start including day in the life of like an Etsy shop owner, those kinds of videos. And then there might be like wild card videos, homeschooling on a budget, cause I do that. <laughs> We're gonna talk a little bit about prepping and prepping on a budget. So if any of that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe. Help me get to that 100,000 subscriber goal of mine. Okay, that was a long intro, welcome. <laughs> Let's jump over to the computer screen and see how much I've made with 1 million views. All right, sneak peek into my new office. I did move very recently, so I'm still getting everything together. But ignoring the background, let's look here at the computer screen. This is my channel. I just hit 19,000 subscribers, so thank you guys for everybody that has subscribed. That means we will be having a giveaway starting on Monday, so keep an eye out for that video during that cash stuffing video. I wanted to come to my main screen though to first show you guys what I do because it does matter as far as the RPM, like the payout goes. We're gonna talk about it in just a second. But I do have a cash budgeting channel. We talk about a little bit of other things, but it's mostly all budgeting and cash stuffing, which falls under like a personal, falls under like a financing niche, niche. I still don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Because of the category that it falls under, I do think that the payout is a little bit higher than some other categories. That would be maybe like a vlogging channel or something like that. You can see too, I do a little bit of grocery hauls. I have some budget check-ins, but these are my most recent videos. And so for the most part, you can see cash budgeting. That's what I'm doing. So let's go over to manage videos. This is where you get a behind the scenes kind of look at things. And you can see all of my recent videos. They all have about, let's see, 3,000, 5,000, 2,000. I mean, there's like a variety. I would say my staple amount of views I get per video is like three to 4,000. And then like up to like 6,000 is my standard. I do have some videos that got more views. We are talking about how much I made for 1 million views. So obviously there have been some that have generated a bit more. So you can see here on the dashboard view, three weeks ago, I did hit 1 million views. I have 19,033 subscribers. So again, thank you for subscribing. Okay, we're gonna go over to analytics. So this is the analytics page. On this page, you can see like in the last 28 days about how much I've made, how many subscribers I've gotten, yada, yada, yada. So let's look though at the estimated revenue and you can see, so this is very unlike me to have this much of a gap between videos. I had an off week last week because I was moving from my apartment to a house. So I will say something to do for your channel is be consistent, upload consistently, and that is going to help you, I mean financially it helps you, but I just mean like gaining momentum and keeping your subscribers engaged. You need to stay, you need to stay engaged. Okay, so this is just the overview spot. And before I share how much I've made for the 1 million views, I just want to look at one more thing. I promise we are getting there so soon. But if you look at this revenue tab, you can see, so like for the last 28 days, this is my playback CPM. Basically, this is how much YouTube makes off of the ad. So, so my ads, 
CPM is generally about $19, at least that's true for the last 28 days. And then the RPM is $12.92. That is my take of the 1,000 views for the ads. Am I explaining this correctly? Basically, you don't get paid for every ad that's played or every thousand views because it depends on if that person sits through the ad or not. I thank you if you are a subscriber of mine, you sit through my ads because that is how I get paid this money. So for the last 28 days, I made about $798. So let's go ahead and change this to custom and let's change it to, I know I started my channel on July 16th of 21. That didn't work. 5, 12, 20, 22. Oh, I see. Okay, finally got it to work. So for the 1 million views, I have made $12,041.69. Now you have to keep in mind that some of this time I was not monetized yet. And I've made, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred dollars these last couple of weeks because I have gone a little bit over 1 million views. So maybe it kind of, maybe it balances one another out anyways, but you get the gist. Okay. So for 1 million views, I've made about $12,000. So my RPM, when you're taking like the averages, you can see that it kind of goes up and down how much I've made, but I will say it stays pretty consistent. I think it's stays between 12 to $18 and it will bounce around day to day, just depending on what avatar ad advertisers are doing. But my general RPM for this channel is $11 and 51 cents and then CPM, which is what YouTube makes. But then I only get a portion of that. YouTube gets $18 and 15 cents per 1000 playbacks. So you can see for the last six months, December and January were definitely higher payouts. And then February, things went way down. I think that's just because advertisers are paying way less. Plus, people are getting their budgets together at the, at the mm. end of a year, start of a year. Mm. So I was just getting a lot more attention on my channel. Now I haven't been monetized and on YouTube for even a full year yet. So this equals a little over $1,000 per month on average for my channel. Um, I will say I live in a low cost area. You guys know that I support myself and my kids fully on this income, but I want to show you guys my Etsy. In addition to that $12,000 though, let's look at how much I've made on Etsy these last, these last, I guess, nine or 10 months, nine months. I think I've been on Etsy for about nine months, so I wonder if we can look at a full total. Okay, I'm not seeing a way that it's going to let me look at all of Etsy at one time, but let's look at 2021 and then 2022. So for the year 2021, you can see that I started Etsy at the very end of August of 2021. I wanna say it was like August 25th, and I made $126 on Etsy that first month, and then you can see it goes upwards from there. So August, September, October, November, December, it by December I was making six thousand three hundred ninety nine dollars for that month on Etsy alone. So thank you if you have supported my Etsy shop. I appreciate it. And the reason I'm including it in this video is because I do very much believe that my sales on Etsy would not be the same if it weren't for YouTube. Because on YouTube, I get to share with you guys, I get to connect with you guys, and I really feel like a lot of you are family and friends at this point, and you. I think feel the same and you go over and you support me on my Etsy shop. So for 2021, I was on Etsy for one, two, three, four, four full months. So in four full months, I made $16,414 just on Etsy. And again, I'm contributing that to YouTube. And you can see Etsy takes their fees. Uh, I understand that they take their fees. I am working on getting my own website though. And then let's look at the sales for so far this year. I will say the sales have dropped. Oh, I started to say the sales have dropped and then look at that number. So for the start of this year, I've made $23,880 on Etsy and some fees were taken out of that, but, and my net profit was $18,656. I am again contributing that to views I gained on YouTube. A lot of you go over and shop, and then those that aren't even subscribers will still go over and shop when they see something they like on my YouTube channel. Speaking of, let me show you guys my audience real quick, bumping back over to, okay, here it is, subscription status. So. If you can see on this screen, this is my subscribers watch versus non-subscribers watch time and hours. So at this point, I do have 1,049,312 views. Out of those, 7 
122,035 people are not even subscribed. So I'm still drawing in customers that are that shop on my Etsy shop. I am still getting views and getting payment from those that are not subscribed. So if you are somebody that has a lower subs lower subscriber count, don't be discouraged. You don't need a lot of subscribers. You just need a video or two videos to kind of take off and get you those views. As long as you have the 1000 subscribers and you're monetized, then it's not really about the subscriber number. Now I know that I have this whole thing that I'm launching that is that is a video a day until 100K. I do wanna hit a higher subscriber count. I think that would be so fun. But I just wanted to throw it out there that it's not about the subscribers. It is about the watched like time, the watch people that you get your videos in front of. So. Okay, so let's let's step away from the computer. So I think that is it for this video. If there is a question that you have relating to Etsy payment or YouTube payment and how much I made per 1 million views, if you have any relating questions to this, please leave them below. I would love to answer them if I kind of missed a big highlight. I think that's about it though. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you for being here. There's an airplane going by. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.